We trained 20,000 Afghan commandos at least, and we we're waiting for them to fight. But when it was clear they were outmatched, outgunned, uh, they went into hiding. They're now asking for help. They're asking lawmakers and others to help them get out of Afghanistan. What do you think we should do uh, after that utter embarrassment, the biggest embarrassment in the history of American military operations? What do we do with the commandos? What we owe them, I don't even have words to, to do the calculation of what we owe them, standing alongside of us, putting in their hearts what what a real country can be like with those things like those five basic freedoms uh, that we enjoy here in America to, to understand that they could have freedom of religion and press and speech and to petition their government and all of these things to teach them about those things and then snatch them away from them to teach them how to yeah. fight for those things in real tactical ways and then say we're going to turn our back and we're going to we're going to make new friends with your sworn enemy that we've been fighting for the last 20 years we need to get them out this this administration is doing nothing to do so and and it's it's literally heartbreaking I, and when i say heartbreaking it is heartbreaking to so many of my fellow veterans the way they carry this on their shoulders is like nothing i've ever seen these people are dying they're being hanged they're being murdered their families if they can't find them they're killing their families and this administration you're not allowed to bring up the word afghanistan in the white house real quick guess what we lost about another two dozen uh, uh navy uh, personnel because they didn't get vaccinated. We lost about uh, 30 Marines. We're about to lose hundreds more. Navy SEALs are suing uh, to stay in, and so far they've stayed, uh, they're allowed to stay for now about the vaccine mandate. What can you do uh, to get Secretary of Defense Austin to pay attention? Look, one of the things that we do in my office is we take all these individuals that reach out to us. We write a letter to, to the, the Pentagon or Navy Special Warfare. You take your pick of who. We say, hey, listen, we want you to sign this letter acknowledging that you take full liability for any and all adverse effects related to this vaccine. Right. And of course, the answer is they never get back and acknowledge that. They refuse to acknowledge uh, immunity based upon the fact that people have already been sick. They refuse to talk about anything that doesn't fit their narrative. And so what can you do with people like that that won't listen? Brian Mass, thanks so much. Uh, we will listen. Appreciate it.